So uh, this question says, given an aqueous solution of 0 0.25 more benzoic acid with a Ka value given there, the pH is approximately, well, just to be clear, uh, even though you're going to use that Ka value, and it says something about that up here, uh, I do want you to still go and look at the conversion equation sheet, find benzoic acid. Uh, I'm going to have to do that anyway to get the formula. I might know it actually, but... Uh, so uh, because on your exam, you won't have this Ka value given, you're going to have to go look it up. So uh, still go ahead and do it. But the, the question says the pH is approximately, and what we're going to do is, so I'm going to go to the conversion equation sheet. I'm going to look up a benzoic acid. It's a 6.5, which is pretty close. But for this problem, I'm going to use the 6.3. And the formula is benzoic HC7H5O2. And this is a Ka reaction because it's an acid, Ka or Kb. The other thing is always water. Take and donate a proton. You're going to have hydronium and C7H5O2 minus aqueous. This is a nice table problem. And uh, that's what you the way you have to handle all weak acids. We know that our initial concentration is 0 0.25 molar. We know that uh, liquids, we don't care about what they're, there's, there's nothing, they're not in equilibrium constant expressions. We have approximately zero hydronium and zero benzoate, which is the formula there. Subtract X, add X to the other side. And now we're ready to plug into a, uh, what we used to call a KC expression, but now we're gonna say this is a KA. So KA is going to equal hydronium concentration times benzoate concentration over benzoic acid concentration. And we get, right, use the value here. I get an expression here, which you can then ignore X and solve for uh, so ignore the X because it's subtracted from a much larger number and solve for the X on top. And when you do, you will be able to identify one of these pHs as the pH for this problem.